In this video today, Derek will be showing you how to remove rust from your truck. This process is all about time. If you love your vehicle of choice, you should do this method no matter what you drive just to make sure that your vehicle lasts a long time. Even if you just want to have some value in your vehicle to sell it later, you need to follow these steps accordingly. Alright, for the first step, I'm going to be sharing with you the products that I use for this vehicle here. I love this vehicle, it's my daily driver, so I'm going to do a very good job on this vehicle and I want to use the best products. These products don't cost a lot and you can find them at local stores, which I will be sharing with you when I'm going over the products. So guys, without further ado, let's rust is only an ongoing battle if you make it one. This is how you fight it. You're going to need some simple things like some sandpaper and some of these paints. I picked up this paint at Walmart. Just going to go with the primer and then the undercoating for the truck. So just teleport over there. Primer to put down first after you sand down the rust and then after that some professional grade undercoating well, a cheaper version of undercoating there as well but i decided to go with the professional grade i don't want to put anything better than the best on my chevrolet truck okay guys first i want to start off is with this electric sander here you can just take some sandpaper clip it onto the sides here and use it like that also get some extra sandpaper for the places that are hard to reach on bags and soap and water after you sand down those places, you want to make sure you preparate well and clean off those places. Also, if you feel like you need this or not, I picked up a respirator by 3M. Pretty decent brand at Lowe's. This was like 30 bucks. Or you can just use those disposable ones that you can get at Walmart or whatever hardware store. Here I got the undercoating. This is what I'm going to do after I use this matte black finish, rust brand. Then I spray on the undercoating black color obviously also by Rustoleum. and for this i'm going to use this on exhaust components i'm going to be doing that in another video where i paint my exhaust but for first i'm going to preparate the frame and undercarriage the first thing you want to do is locate the rust in your truck find the good place where you can just sand it down with some sandpaper or use a hand sander or sandblaster or whatever you have to get rid of the rust after you sand it down as best as you can just take a cloth get any of that loose rust dust, tetanus, off of the area that you want to paint. So once that is clean, after you shake up your Rust-Oleum primer for about a minute, you want to take it and just spray it right over the place that you want it. After you do that, you want to let that dry for a little bit. See, this is one of the newer Silverados. You think you wouldn't have any problems with rust, but when you live in here in Northern PA, even the newest vehicles will be facing rust. I was at the dealership in Harrisburg and brand new 2016 Silverados even had some rust on the frame. See, this is just a por portion of the wax that, that they put on the frame factory. I was able to just peel it off on top of the spare tire. You can get one of these respirators at your local Lowe's, Home Depot, or hardware store for around $30 if you don't want to breathe in all that paint. And then these are just some red, white, and blue safety glasses that you can also pick up there for pretty cheap. Make sure to peel off any flaking wax coating from the stock material that they put on your frame. If you try to paint over it, it won't work well and it will just start flaking off with your paint and undercoating. So make sure you get that off there too with sandpaper or just peeling it off by hand. After you let that dry for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, you want to take your can of rubberized undercoating, Rust-Oleum brand is what I use. You can get that online or at Walmart. You just spray lay down where you have it there. Alright guys, so I'd say I spent about, mm, I'd say $60, $70 on everything for this project alone. I mean, I've never done a full-on frame detail like I did in this process today, but I did do, in some places, little touch-ups and sanding them down and little touch-ups and stuff like that that I mentioned earlier, but this was actually a full-on job. So, after you do this job one time, the full-on job, you only have to do touch-ups every now and then, so you just gotta keep with it. As long as you keep up the process and you just check it every now and then, I know it's hard to get under there during the winter time because it's very cold out and stuff like that. 
but as long as you check every now and then, do some touch-ups, you should be good to go for a long time, and your vehicle should stay amazing for life. The biggest thing that stood out whenever I finished this process is my front end suspension components. Because I'm lifted, I can see it a lot more and it's more visible. There was uh, some places that were starting to rust, so I took care of those places and now it just looks amazing guys, it's just great. So I'm going to just show you a little bit around the truck now that I'm done with the project. This is what my front end looks like, it looks like I put in brand new components for the front suspension. Show you the other side over here is just as good looking. Spent a lot of time doing that. I wanted to make sure everything looked good. It's all the components from side to side, bottom to top. I got every spot that you can think of there. I took care of the whole frame. It's looking great. Look at that. It's just nothing's bubbling. Everything looks just wonderful. I'll show you my rear axle. Don't worry, I got both sides. It looks great from the back here. Did the whole exhaust and all the 100% of that. There's the back axle, maybe a little bubbling towards the left side, but other than that, the whole thing looks great. Everything looks replaced and brand new. This honestly makes it look like a 2017 Silverado with a 2013 body put on it. How does that work? Redid the whole Flowmaster muffler and also with my Flowmaster exhaust tip. Matches great, the paint and everything is holding up well. I also did the factory tow hitch, made that look great. Starting the rust a little bit. And I took care of all the, of the all the frame under the spare tire and stuff around there. I'm not gonna put the spare tire back, but if you guys think this looks great, please check in my for my other videos, many tutorials to come, truck videos, and stuff like that. All I have left to say is make sure you prep it correctly, and it will stick. Otherwise, it'll start flaking off in a few weeks. But just make sure you follow the steps in this video, and everything should look fine. You might have to crawl under or two. It's easier on a lift the truck to do this. If you don't lift the truck, you could always jack it up on jack stands or something like that. But make sure you do this in about 50 degree weather and read the instructions on the can. I bought Rustolian brand and stuff like that. It's always been working great. So as long as you prep read, things will work out for you. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Have a great day.